Hey guys, Chance here with Rocky Mountain, here to show you the install of the Tusk Digital Radiator Fan Kit on this KTM 350SXF. Now the Tusk Digital Radiator Fan Kit is going to mount to the back of our radiator and allow us to run cooler engine operating temperatures during extreme conditions. Now this install is for 17 and newer KTM and Husqvarna models but be sure and check out your instructions before your install. Now we're going to start off by removing the seat, the fuel tank and radiator shrouds, the louvers, and then draining all of the coolant from the machine. From there, we're going to loosen up the radiator hose clamps and remove the two M6 bolts that hold the radiator on. Now that we have the radiator off the bike, we can go ahead and set this down on the workbench on a rag there's going to be some residual coolant and then we can find out where we'd like to place this radiator fan. It's got a lot of adjustability and we can choose where we'd like to mount it. Now for the most part, you're going to want to run this radiator fan kit in the middle position on this radiator. This will work with most tanks and radiator braces. However, with IMS tanks, you're going to want to run this fan kit in the lowest position possible on this radiator. Now that we have found our location for the radiator fan, we're going to take our Torx button head screws and apply a little bit of medium strength thread locker to them. From there, we'll take our T25 Torx wrench and we'll need to apply pressure to the screw as we turn it in order to create the necessary threads. We'll then tighten these screws until they are flush. Once they are flush, we will tighten them a quarter turn past there. Now be careful, we don't want to over tighten these because we can ruin these threads. Now that we have that screw installed, we're going to go ahead and install the other Torx button head screws. We'll install the other one on the aluminum side following that same procedure. And then we'll go ahead and move over to the plastic side. And that will not need thread locker. We'll just need to thread that in and follow the same tightening procedure. Now that we have the radiator fan kit securely mounted to the radiator, we're going to go ahead and install the radiator back on the bike with the two M6 screws. We can then go ahead and install the radiator hoses tighten the clamps and the vent tubes. Once you get that done, go ahead and refill your bike up with coolant. Now we're gonna to need to find a location in the radiator fins to insert this probe. Above or below the fan will work just great. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the thermal grease, squeeze half of the tube into a single fin, then we're gonna press the end of the temperature sensor into that radiator fin. We're gonna to need to make sure that it's in all of the way. Now we'll take the radiator fan harness that comes included in this box and we're going to route the two pin connector from the battery and follow the OEM wire harness until the connector reaches the area around the ignition coil. Be sure to avoid areas with pinch points or excessive heat. Now we're going to wait until the fan and thermostat are hooked up before connecting this harness to the battery. Next, we need to locate a place to mount this digital thermostat. A common place is on the frame in front of the gas cap or on the right side of the frame in front of the radiator cap. Once we've found our location, we're gonna go ahead and clean the back of the thermostat and our mounting location with some contact cleaner. Be sure not to use any brake or carb cleaner as this can damage the thermostat. We'll then install the tape on the back side of the thermostat and then we'll mount the thermostat to our mounting location. Now multiple pieces of tape have been included so that you can cut and mount this thermostat where you want and get the most contact between the thermostat and frame as possible. Now once we have this thermostat mounted, we can go ahead and route the wires along the frame towards the ignition coil area. We can then connect the power harness, fan, and temperature sensor connector to the matching connectors. We definitely want to use some dielectric grease when doing this. Now that all the connections are made, we're going to take the supplied plastic ties and secure the wiring away from the fan, any pinch points, or excessive heat. Be sure that you have proper function of steering and all other controls. Now that we have everything connected and tied up, we can go ahead and connect the power harness to the battery. Black wire to the negative and red to the positive. Once we have all these connections made and power from the battery, we should be able to see on the screen a little thermometer and a running temperature. If you don't see this, be sure and check out the instructions that come with it to help diagnose your issue. Now on some models, you're going to need to modify the louvers for a proper fit, and we'll show you how.
Now once everything is connected and functioning properly, we're going to ensure the coolant is filled, we're going to install the radiator louver, fuel tank and shroud, and seat according to OEM specs. Now once our machine is put back together, we're going to start our machine in a well ventilated area and check for leaks and proper function of the fan kit. The thermostat will come preset to start at 190 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a good recommended operating temperature for most off-road vehicles. Now if you need any more help with the digital thermostat, be sure and check out the instructions that came with it. And that's it guys, that's our install of the Tusk Digital Radiator Fan Kit on this 19 KTM. Now if you have any comments or questions, throw them below. And if you like this content, be sure and subscribe. Now if, to pick up your radiator fan kit, your coolant, and any other parts you might need, check out our website. I'm Chance with Rocky Mountain, thanks for watching.